Fans of summer are back for the spring. Orioles pitchers and catchers hitting the field today for the first spring training workout. Yeah, lots to be excited about for the season, but it's not all good news down in Sarasota. WMAR 2 News' Sean Stepner fills us in. A shocker on day one of Orioles spring training. One of the Birds' best pitchers, Kyle Bradish, with an injury to his throwing elbow. A sprain of his ulnar collateral ligament, and as a result, uh, he's behind. O's general manager Michael Elias says Bradish noticed discomfort last month. Further testing revealed the UCL sprain. It was treated with a platelet-rich plasma injection to promote healing. Bradish will start his throwing progression on Friday and start the season on the injured list. That progression is going to be something that takes some time. Right now, our hopes and focuses are on getting this behind him and getting him up and running for 2024. But we want to do it carefully and safely. Elias says Tommy John surgery is not on the table for Bradish yet. We're prepping him for a lot of action in 2024. The 27-year-old would have entered the spring as the O's number one starter if not for the acquisition of ace Corbin Burns from Milwaukee. Elias says the injury to Bradish did not impact the club's desire to trade for Burns. If anything, it reinforces why you need quality depth on the mound. This is a uh, demonstration of um, why you need a lot of starting pitchers. Injuries are, go are part of this game, and, and uh, you know, I feel good about the depth we have, and hopefully he'll be back soon. That depth is about to be tested, along with the Bradish news. John Means also not fully on schedule. He is about a month behind the other starters. The lefty had an elbow flare-up late in 2023. He might miss opening day as well. Also, Gunnar Henderson has an oblique injury, which is not considered serious. Of course, the team gathering for the first time since the Angelos family agreed to sell their control stake in the club to David Rubenstein. Elias says everyone in Sarasota is following the situation, but as of now, no impact to how things get done on and off the diamond. And everything that I'm hearing and seeing, um, it's all very, very positive. Uh, but right now, with the time of year that we're in, um, you know, and the fact that the team is in is in go for it mode, um, you know, we're we're focused on on that. Their focus will remain on pitchers and catchers for the next few days. All position players due to report to spring training by Monday, with the first full squad workout set for Tuesday. At Oriole Park in Camden Yard, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.